while this is a beautiful memorial being built about the civil rights movement, it's very significant to the crossroads we're in uh, as a country. Uh, a biblical worldview, we're either going to be biblical and free or we're going to be secular and status. Uh, the very difference between the two sides that God had in history, to where he said, all of you that are with us, come on this side, the rest of you go over there. And the reason that I'm saying it beginning here at King and then we're going to, I'm going to express it more as we go along, you see these other three memorials, is because the King Memorial, this was a moral man. This was a man whose ministry was built in morality. I'm not talking about his personal life. I'm talking about what God asked him to do for this country. But if you notice, as you were reading the signs and you look at this monument, you would not even know he was a preacher. Nobody. No there is a controversy going on right now that not only is there no sign that he was a preacher, you would think that he was, instead of a preacher, in charge of a great moment in history, whether we were going to be biblical and free or secular and status, they decided that they weren't even going to showcase much of that civil rights era. If you read all of the writings on the wall, you right. will see more mention of demilitarizing, meaning right. abolish the Second Amendment right. to the right. Constitution, right. Um, you will see many signs from uh, unionizing, right? Uh, and you will see a lot about Vietnam, but very little about the African American experience. Uh, there is a movement here in town that is trying to get that corrected. The, they're part of another movement with E.W. Jackson that are trying to correct that in the middle of the Smithsonian, where it shows the African American experience, uh, the Civil Rights era at the Portraits Museum is a bust of Margaret Sanger, right. who founded Planned Parenthood to destroy the offspring of blacks. Right.